welcome to the Deli Diaries. It's so good to have you here. Today I'm wearing this really pretty jumper. I just have to show you because I bought it in Croatia in Makarska, kind of in the middle of nowhere, just in this little boutique. And isn't it adorable? It's so retro. I love it. Anyways, enough of that. <laughs> Thanks for joining me today. And what we're really here to talk about, of course, is the futurism palette in electro turquoise from Kaleidos. And she looks like this. It's beautiful. She's got some shifty shades in there, some amazing glitters, and of course some really vibrant mattes as well. So this is, this is fun. <laughs> I love the packaging as well. Isn't that beautiful? All foiled. So that is what we're here to do today. Uh, I will definitely have swatches as well in low light or natural light and artificial light. So that's going to be very beneficial if you're thinking about getting the palette. Also the Space Age Prophecy highlighter I am using in this video. So if you've had some interest in picking up that from Kaleidos, you get to see what that looks like. Ooh on the face. <laughs> uh, before we dive into it though, today I'm feeling so inspired because I'm wearing a one seed perfume that I designed myself. I called it Mahina, which is a Hawaiian word, and I think it has something to do with like moonlight. I remembered when I actually made the perfume, but um, just keeping in mind I'm not sponsored in any way at all. I adore one seed perfumes because they are non-toxic. Every ingredient in them you can see listed in front of you. They don't put any crap in there. Some perfumes have the worst chemicals in them, honestly. And if you have any issues with hormones, then they will just mess you up. <laughs> so definitely check out One Seed. They have a website, which I will link below because I'm just such a big fan. And I love their perfumes so much. All right, without any further ado, oh, before we dive into it, um, just to let you know, the Futurism palette collection I purchased as a set, which has the four eyeshadow palettes in it. And I've already got those, I've got two videos up before this that you can check out with the other palettes. So make sure you do that if you're interested in the whole set. Uh, the Futurism collection costs Australian $112.55 or USD $79. But if you wanna just pick up the individual palette, like say the Electro Turquoise palette, palette that is $34 Australian or $24 USD. Okay so if you want to see how I have put this look together let's dive in. Oh and please remember to subscribe. <laughs> let's do the look. All right let's get into this look. I'm so excited to play with these colors. They are bright yeah, we're good. Okay, I'm just going to zoom you in a little. Let's see if I go the right way, because I never do. <gasps> no, because they're not even moving. <laughs> okay. Up close and personal, just how we like it. Let's get into it. Okay, so we are going to kick things off. I have actually already got some uh, revealer concealer from Kassas on my eyelids, and I've just powdered over that with the Hourglass Ambient Light powder. Uh, so I'm going to take this Refa brush, big fluffy dome brush. It's a number 15 for reference. And I'm going to dip into the shade Force Field, which is this light bluey greeny color, kind of a sea blue, although not at the moment because it's winter and the sea is much more of a gray shade. <laughs> I haven't really thought this through, uh, which is standard. So I'm going to take that up on the outer crease, a little bit above it up towards the brow. It's going on okay. It seems a little patchy over here for some reason. Hmm. Let's see if we can smooth out that patchiness. This side went on fine. This side, a little patchy. switch. Hold that thought. I literally cannot do this without my little brush switch friend. It's everything. <laughs> Next up I'm going to use a smaller Refer Dome brush number 13 which I find very very useful and I'm going to take the shade I think digital which is that guy. Dipping into that one just tapping off my brush a little so it's not too intense. I'm 
really concentrating that along the crease. Just bringing that up and out. I don't really want to bring that shade down. This is going to be a very dramatic <laughs> outcome that I'm then going to have to wear to work. So, <laughs> yeah, they're used to it by now. I'm just really trying to blend out the edge there. So it diffuses out. That one blended really well. There's no patchiness with that shade at all. So yeah, very happy with that shade. I've decided I'm just gonna bring that all the way towards my nose. Although I'm using a lot less of the product here because I don't want it to be as strong. So I've gone for more of like a lion shape than a usual, the usual shape that I would do on everyday makeup. Now next up, for the sake of using all of the eyeshadows in this palette for you, I am going to take the shade Wired, which is the brown one there. And I'm gonna take this little refer brush in 03, dip into that, but definitely tap it off because it's a very rich shade. And I'm just taking a brown, just up on an angle. Blending it onto the edge of the lid. Actually, I'm impressed with how that brown holds its color because I've put it over the top of that teal and it has definitely held onto its brown. It hasn't turned a wishy-washy color. So that's really impressive, actually. I'm just making sure that that is going on that same angle as we did with the teal. And again, that's blending out really well. I'm actually just gonna take this little brush, dip back into that brown, tap it off, and use that here. Now I'm just gonna take a small dome refer brush again. Once again, that's the 13, making sure it's clean. I just want to use that to blend everything a little bit more. So it's a little bit softer, a little bit more diffused. Next, we're gonna dip into some of the fun shades. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to wet my finger first because that's just how I always like to apply 90% of my Cat hair, what else is me? Uh, if you want to see my cute ragdoll cat, check out the last video. <laughs> I'm going to dip my wet finger into the palette and pick up the color that is called Tron. That guy. And I'm placing that over the middle of the eyelid. This is such a pretty blue shade. Oh, wow. In fact, it's worthy of a zoom in. This gorgeous tealy blue also has kind of goldy green reflex in it. It's a real shifty beauty, this one. Taking that slightly above the crease there in line with that brown and that blue. pretty. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, look at her. Oh, you can see up my nose there too, so that's an added bonus. <laughs> All right. Now that that gorgeous girl is on, we are going to take the other glittery shade in the palette, which is called Shockwave, which is right there. It's a beautiful silvery glittery shade. Once again, wetting the old finger <laughs> and concentrating that on the corner. 
and bringing it right in around as a highlight as well. And when I wet my finger, I don't get any glittery fallout either, which is awesome. Not with these guys. I definitely do get fallout with the glittery shades from Pat McGrath when I apply them. And even using the Pat McGrath primer underneath. Mm. Holy heck, it's so pretty. Oh, shiny things. I'm just like a magpie. All right, now I'm gonna take my synthetic brush, flat synthetic. I'm gonna wet that and I'm gonna dip it back into that silvery shade. And I want to create a bit more of a line across the top in a corner there. Yep. Bit more definition there now. I've actually run that sort of above the blue there as well. Hmm, enjoying it. But of course we cannot go without using the incredibly vibrant orange shade in this palette, which is called Voltaic. <laughs> Never heard it before. Okay, orange right there. Isn't she gorgeous? Whatever she's called, we need to use her. <laughs> I'm just gonna zoom you back out because I think my camera's having a little trouble focusing. I mean, don't we all, to be fair. <laughs> I know I do. <laughs> Clearly, I think today, uh, particularly actually for some reason. So I'm just cleaning off one of the refer brushes that we used earlier for the brown and that was the tiny little pencil guy in 03. And dipping into that beautiful vibrant orange. Whew! And we're gonna use that underneath the eye. Wowzers. It's love. <laughs> oh, I love that little pop of orange, especially because I love warm colors. So I always feel like my eyes look better with some kind of warmth in there. And actually what I love about that bluey shimmery shade in there is that the reflex are a warm golden greeny color. I don't know if you can tell very well on camera, but in real life, they definitely have that warm glow. So it's, it's beautiful. Yeah, actually, I'm really happy with that. Okay, so I just want to finally wet that little brush once again and dipping back into that silvery shade, the glittery one. I just want to blend the glitter through a little bit into that orange. All right, I'm happy with that. We're gonna do eyeliner and what are we gonna roll with here? Let's see. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Eye Color Magic Duo in Super Blue. So we're gonna take the matte navy shade and use that on the top lash line. I'm just really tight lining in there and making sure to keep that line really close because I don't want to just see eyeliner when I open my eyes. I want to see the eyeshadow still on the lid. And with hooded eyes, you can often end up just seeing eyeliner <laughs> because of how the lid sits when it's open. And I always like to take a little angled brush and just smooth out the corner of my eyeliner. The Charlotte Tilbury pencils set super quickly, so you don't have much time to work with them if you do want to do that, so just keep that in mind. I love working with pencil. Uh, for years I only wore liquid liner, and of course with liquid liner you need to do like really smooth lines. I kind of like with the pencil that I have a lot of freedom in how I make it look you know, as in it can be smudgy or it can be sharp and defined. <laughs> Mostly with me it's smudgy because I never sharpen my pencils. <laughs> Unless I like really, really have to. <laughs> it's honestly just sheer laziness. That's how that is looking. I actually really like that matte navy blue. It's beautiful. Alrighty, and for the lower lash line, we are taking the same Charlotte Tilbury pencil, but this time we are taking the really pretty lighter metallic blue end of it. And we're gonna take that 
on that outer corner. I don't use this in my waterline only because of the shade. So because I have small eyes, if I use dark liner inside my waterline, it just makes my eyes look smaller. So I don't do it. <laughs> I'm just gonna pop some mascara on and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have gone ahead and put on my mascara and this is what the eyes look like now. So we are gonna go ahead and put some blush on. <laughs> Everything's better with blush and we're gonna do some lips as well. So let's zoom you out a little. I think we're gonna roll with my Ilia All of Me Multi Stick. So to apply this one, I just like to take my unfortunately very multi, God. <laughs> It's just hairs flying off everywhere. Napoleon Complexion Perfection Brush. This is so old. This brush from when I used to work for Napoleon back in the day. Let's not talk about that time of my life. Um, and I'm just applying that to the apple of my cheek and bringing it up a little. So this is a real peachy pinky color. Quite bright. It's got quite a pop to it. They're so easy to work with and they're perfect if you're going away for a weekend and you want something you can wear on your lips and your cheeks. You can do that with these. Okay, so really concentrating on the apple there. They have a beautiful sort of dewy finish, but not like oily looking. Very nice. <laughs> Um, okay, and something else I've really been enjoying lately is my Melt Cosmetics Golden Hour Cream Blush Light. So I'm just going to take a finger, pop that in there, and I want to run that sort of around the front edge of that apple and bring it up almost like a highlight. Oh, it's got such a beautiful finish. Oh. I'm just loving wearing this on top of other blushes at the moment. I feel like it's a little too fair for me right now to wear on its own, but layered over other blushes, it looks so pretty. Now I did actually buy with this uh, Kaleidos Futurism collection, I bought the Space Age Prophecy highlighter, which honestly, I don't see myself wearing very much because it's just a little bit out there. God, the, it's so pretty though. Look at that pattern. So pretty. And I'm pretty sure you can depot this as well, which is cool because it's a quite a big container. So if you want to actually carry it around with you. I'm going to dip into it with a fan brush here. Uh, God knows where I got this from, like probably Priceline or something. Um, so I'm <laughs> just dipping into that with the fan brush and I'm going to run that across the top. Oh my gosh, I am such a, I'm such a disco ball right now and I'm kind of not hating it actually. I wasn't sure if I would like this, but Wowzers! Oh my god. Wow, I am. Whew, I'm a Kaleidos girl today. Look at me go. Okay, so <laughs> you can see that highlight. Um, it has shifts of green, orangey, even like reddy fuchsia tones, I would say. Yeah, definitely see those in there. <laughs> I normally wouldn't wear this as well, but I just really wanted you to be able to see what it looks like. It's kind of cool. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> we are done putting things on my face other than lipstick, which I think we're just going to keep it nice and chill. I think I'm going to roll with my Charlotte Tilbury Angel Alessandra lipstick. Packaging on this is so pretty too. So it's just a really pretty soft peachy color because I actually already had underneath, I had the Bite Beauty, <laughs> rest in peace, um, agave lip glaze on. It's actually given it a nice shine, whereas this isn't a particularly shiny lipstick at all. So I like how that looks. Okay, I am going to <laughs> sort this out and I'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, I'm back and this is the finished makeup look. I actually, I actually am really happy with how this turned out. I think it looks really cool. It's, 
it's really uh, not something I would normally wear on a daily basis. I don't wear a lot of blue on a daily basis. I wear clothing that's blue, but I don't really wear blue eyeshadows. But I really like how the orange has just warmed things up slightly. It's really blended together nicely. And um, yeah, I, I think it's really pretty. Okay, so now that you have seen the finished look, let's take a look at the swatches. thoughts for the Kaleidos palette. I did really enjoy using it and I would say that when I first started the look I was a little bit scared about how it was going to end up. I wasn't completely confident in how it was all going to work together but I actually really liked using the orange as a little bit of a pop. And please just keep in mind remember that you don't need to use all of the colors in the palette. I am just doing that so that you can have an idea of what they all look like and how they all perform. So don't feel like you need to do that because you definitely don't. Uh, whatever it is you want to do, you don't have to use all of the shadows. I did have a little drama blending this lighter teal shade, um, but in the end it, it was okay. It just was a little bit patchier than the others. I found the others blended really well. They were great. No dramas there. And honestly, the shimmers in this palette are so beautiful. I would probably pay just to have those two shimmers in my collection because they are gorgeous and the palette price is really good. So if you wanted to buy it individually, I think it would definitely be worthwhile. So yeah, I really enjoyed that one. I still have one more Futurism palette to go if you are interested in seeing that one. It will be the Sashimi palette, which is more of a neutral palette. So if you're more of a neutral person, I think you're really going to enjoy that one. It still does have some really pretty shimmers in it though. So yeah, if you want to see that, please subscribe to my channel, The Daily Diaries. It would be so nice to have you here on a regular basis. Give me like proper pals and hang. Um, so <laughs> yeah, and if you could give me a like, that would be much appreciated as well. I hope you have a fantastic day and I will be back with you very soon for more fun and makeup. <laughs> Cheers, take care, bye.